Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Half-Life with Mio Fu. And welcome to one of the last rooms we will see in the game. Aw oh, man. I really love this room. Like I, I really can't just express how much love I, I have for this one single room. Just because it's such a stark contrast to everything we've seen together and it's just... Really, it, it, it has almost a sinister, menacing feel to it. Well, obviously, you see the spiked pedestal in the distance with the red glow in it, but just the fact that all the background has dropped away and everything, I don't know. It's just a great atmosphere. But anyway, as we head on to the last part of this, uh, of this phenomenal game, we can look back upon all the great things that we have done. I mean, we started Good morning, and welcome to on the Black train Mesa into Black System. Mesa. This automated train and is there we can see Barney trying to get in. Of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. You'll get in there one day, buddy. buddy. And the G-Man. I mean, the first time we see the G-Man. Just staring at us, fixing himself. Good morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. Looks like you somehow got ahead of us, Barney. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I and a bunch of messages for you, but we Barney, what is with all these doppelgangers? <laughs> one of those days where you have a huge computer crash. Problems. Problems down at the testing bay. What could that be? What could that be about? I'm sure it's fine. Nothing could go wrong this day. After all, it's just a an ordinary day for an ordinary scientist. Well, quite the extraordinary scientist as we've seen. Ah, Gordon, here you are. We just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105 percent. Bit of a gamble, but we need the extra resolution. What do you mean a bit the of a gamble? The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I well, gather they went to some lengths to get it. Well, that's why I'm here. That's my middle name, Gordon Conclusive Freeman. It's about to go critical. What do you mean it's about to go critical? What the hell is going on with our equipment? It wasn't meant to do this in the first place. Oh god. What are we doing? I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedures today, Gordon. Yes, but with good reason. Wait a minute. A this software a crash? Deviating from this standard procedures? Boosting the power? Systems going mistake. critical? Now, now, if you follow standard insertion procedures, But you just said we're deviating from standard procedures. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Gordon oh God. Need to hear unlikely this. still means possible. Professional. We've assured <laughs> the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Ah, uh, yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, good. Go ahead. Let's let him in now. We'll take it from here. Power to stage one. Oh man, I just did want to revisit these scenes at the very beginning of Half Life. Just because we do see all this shit go wrong. And it is one of my favorite scenes from, from any video game, so why not revisit it? Stage two emitters activating now. I also decided to throw in the original Half-Life. All of this is recorded from the original Half-Life. Absolutely none of it is Half-Life Source. So even though I did the entire Let's Play as Half-Life Source, you still get to see the original, as it was intended, released by Valve, produced by Sierra, in 1998? I'm gonna guess that's the right year. If I'm wrong, don't hate me. I mean... <laughs> I've only had a month and twenty odd days to look this up. Oh god. The sample. The thing that started it all. Ha. Huh. If only. It's not just that sample, but a number of things. But as, as we'll see in later games, this was all set up. It wasn't just chance, but an alien invasion. Well, 
There's that resonance cascade they warned us about. Let's see how Gordon fares. How we fare, shall we? God, alien planets. Oh God, more aliens. But you guys have seen this all before. Scenes of destruction, scenes of death. Try to warn them. I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. Gordon. You're alive. Thank God for that hazard suit. I'm afraid to move him and all our phones are out. Please, get to the surface as soon as you can and let someone know we're stranded down here. Let them know we dug too deep and we uncovered something terrible. Oh, but with our handy, trusty crowbar, I'm sure we'll make it out just fine. Oh, saw a bit of a graphical glitch. Don't worry about that. It's not too big of a problem. Get out of here, aliens. You alien scum. I mean, it is a recap, so I did want to show some footage of gameplay. I didn't want it all just to be... Oh, hey! Here's scientists talking to us. Soldiers have arrived, and they're coming to rescue us. Hey, Soldiers? What the hell are you Thank God. Here? Get topside! I hear troops are coming in to save us. I'm making my way. I'm trying to find these... God damn it, G-Man! It is all your fault, isn't it? <laughs> I, I can't hold on much longer. Don't worry. I'm gonna save you. I'm gonna save all the scientists as well as I can. Hold on just a little bit longer. Ah! No! We are doomed. Wait, what's going on? Who's shooting you? The aliens didn't come in with guns, and why are you living so long? Under military command? What do you mean? Wait, why are you shooting at me? What's going on? I mean, obviously we know that the military came in and decided to silence this whole Their idea of Black Mesa. Kill everyone associated with the project. Judging from your hazard suit, I'd say you were part of what went wrong. Isn't that right? Now look, if anyone can end this catastrophe, it's the science team and the Lambda complex at the opposite end of the base. With the transit system out, I could... So let's make our way to Lambda system. Old decommissioned rail system or Lambda labs. <laughs> silo complex. If you can make it through the rocket test lab, you might be able to worm your way through the old tunnels to track down whatever's left of the Lambda team. You can trust them. You can trust all of us. Thank but God we can trust someone. But I know we've seen it all before, it's just fun to relive it, as though we haven't. I mean, part of a Let's Play is sharing those things that I... I love that people may not have seen before. These terrifying, terrifying scenes of people clipping through monsters. <laughs> Doesn't take a rocket scientist to fire a rocket. <laughs> Just a theoretic, theoretical physics scientist. What an amazing boss fight that was. What an amazing boss fight this was. Well, mid boss fight. He's dangerous enough that I'll consider him a boss. Mister, you can get the power on. That train will take us straight to the surface. I would try it myself, but it's a long way down to the generator room. Oh, come on. We know you can hang in there. Things in the way. And we got the gener generators up and running. Got the power. 
running again. We made our way through. We made it fine. See? Things are in good hands. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> about a thing because we're being chased by a giant monster <laughs> it's like we get to flip another switch start some more electricity pumping through these wires oh my god look at the ugly mug on you <laughs> blown to smithereens it was I'm supposed to take this old rail system up to some kind of satellite delivery rocket I don't know where it is exactly, and the old guy was so worried about getting out of here alive, he didn't tell me. Main thing is, the military aborted the launch, so when you do find Damn, the rocket, those you'll have military. to get to the control room and launch it yourself. He said something about a Lambda team needing the satellite in orbit if they were ever going to clean up this mess. Well, we know Lambda team can do it. Killed my buddies first, you scum. Well, let us go and launch that rocket, shall we? Can we get a better view? Oh god, what's happening? Blast danger. I salute you, Lambda Rocket. Fix this mess that we've gotten ourselves into. And Godspeed. <laughs> and Godspeed to you, Mr. Freeman. Make your way to the surface, try to get to the Lambda complex, and maybe we'll be able to sort this whole mess out. Oh god, it's going fast! What's what's happening? Oh god! Ah! Little helm scream! More video hours as I transition. <laughs> Figured at least keeping the shark cage. I mean, come on, that's that's a terrifying scene right there with the shark. I've got a message for you. Make sure you don't. Make sure I don't what? Make sure I don't what? This is such a cliched, tense scene being cut off right before you give me the message. Ah oh, well. Let's take care of some ninjas! <laughs> Damn those ninjas. Oh god! Don't hurt me! I'm just a scientist! Don't break my glasses! Nice hit. Oh, imagine that. If they broke his Gordon Freeman's glasses and you wake up in a trash compactor and you just can't see farther than a foot in front of your face. Okay, guys, that's the end of the game. We can't continue because we lost our glasses. <laughs> no, but no, of course. We get to relive the trash compactor scene from Star Wars A New Hope. Except this time we're a scientist. And there's no evil snake monster in the water below. Oh god, the walls are closing in. 3PO, come in, 3PO! Shut off all trash com trash compactors on the main level. Oh, I love this game so much. I mean, do I really have to say anything more about this scene? Obviously, because I did say something more about it. <laughs> oh God! It's much too unpredictable. Don't let it overcharge. What do you mean, God, man, you're a scientist. Why would you let a security guard handle that? And now we begin car carrying the experimental weapons. Shit has gotten real, and we have turned it around. Now the guards should be more afraid of us than they are than we are of them. <laughs> After all, 
We're packing lasers, a tau cannon. A scientist. Thank God. Get us out of here before those military drones figure out where we're hiding. We all have retinal scanner access. Escort us to the lobby and we can get out of the lab. You'll have to shut down the surgical unit first. Peters switched it on, but I'm afraid he never made it back. Oh God, Peters, where's Peters? Well, he's not in the first aid station. Where's Peters? Oh my God, that's Peters all over the place. <laughs> I'm dying out here. Don't worry, I'll help you. Help me. God damn it, military! Why? Why could you be so cruel? Oh yeah, I forgot I kept the death in this. Oh, please don't tell me I kept all of this in here. Please don't. Oh my god. I can't believe that I kept all of this in here. <laughs> Just ignore that. Oh, and of course I had to keep this in there. Defeating their own cliché. Half-Life. Gotta love it. Oh god! By the way, apparently you can actually stand on top of that detonation pack and you won't take any damage. Because the fire doesn't occur on the detonation pack. I also have enough time to get to the end of the pipe, but... Figured I'd do it the cinematic way. Take that guy out with extreme vengeance and furious anger. And now we get to take the fight back to this guy. We killed your buddy with electricity. Now we're going to kill you use, using the military's own weapons. If only we could use the military's weapons against them. <laughs> I guess that's a bit too much to hope for, though. Well, I think I have like three or four bomb t bomb targets. Let's see if we can learn this newfangled positioning technology. Kill this guy again with extreme ven or extreme with vengeance and furious anger. Finally, Lambda Complex. We made it. Entrance to the Lambda complex. Every other has been sealed off to contain the invasion. When we realized that you might actually make it here, we drew straws to see who should stay behind and let you through. Obviously, I drew the short and weapons research too. And I built the glue on gun. The glue on gun. Also known as the Egon pack. Because as you can see, it looks a lot like the packs that the Ghostbusters carry. And man, if I still don't love this the most. Oh, yes. G-Man, I will find you. Eventually. I don't actually know how to get into that room. Believe it or not. I don't think I've ever been able to get in there. Well, not using... Unless I'm using no clip, of course. But that's different. That's cheating. <laughs> oh, and teleportation. It begins. Now we can finally make our way back to the aliens' home world and try to take the fight to them. But first, we have to get into the core of the Lambda Labs so we can actually get to the teleporter. Oh, why did I include this either? More bloopers! <laughs> I must have fallen and forgot to cut this out. Or I cut out the wrong bit. Or I copied it and pasted it and this is actually... Yeah, this looks like it's just a repeat. Oh look. More more errors in my editing. Oh well, they're small errors. That will not spoil the whole product. Where are we? Have we finally made it? Lambda. The Lambda Core. We made it. Oh, barely enough life to spare. This is the guy. We thought you'd never make it. This oh, come on, Barney. I've seen your doppelgangers throughout the entire game. What do you mean, this is the guy? Specimens were collected from the border world and brought back this way uh, before the survey members started being collected themselves, that is. We suspect there is an immense portal over there. 
created by the intense concentration of a single powerful being. You will know it when you see it. I hate to say this, but... A single powerful being? We haven't met a single powerful being yet. Of course, Could that be nothing, the Finger. final boss? Dun dun dun! Do you know as much about these creatures as anyone? Enough to know that if you don't wipe it out, there won't be much for you to come home to. Yes. So, if you're willing, my colleague is waiting for you at the main portal controls. He will open the gates for you, Mr. Freeman. Well, Do sir. Not only am I willing, I am ready. Let's get this shit started, so we can... Bring the fight back to the aliens. Hello, fight Freeman. them on I'm their own homeworld. And try and stop this wretched right. day from I happening can open again. The portal now. The process is complicated. <laughs> and once it's begun, I must not be interrupted, or I will have to start all over again. Don't enter the beam until I give the okay. Give understood? Understood, sir. I'll cover you. While you try to get this portal running up get it up and activated and i'll take it from there sir of course i can't protect you once i'm through the portal but i'm sure you'll do fine i'm sure you oh god aliens that we've never seen before could this be foreshadowing of that all-powerful being that we're supposed to kill nonsense <laughs> Almost there. Almost there. Porkins, pull up. Almost there. No, we are almost there. Look, shields come down. We're almost there, Freeman. He's saying it himself. The portal's starting to create. The energy's being drawn together. Is that it? Can we jump through now? Can't hold out much longer. Hurry, Doc. It's ready. You must go now. Hurry, jump through. Which brings us back to the planet Zen, the border world Zen. Of course, I put in that whole recap because the recap is in this room. We get to hear the resonance cascade. Right before we jump through and fight the final boss. Thank you guys for joining me for this almost final episode of Half-Life. And as soon as I'm able to, I'll record the next couple of episodes and upload them. As we face the final boss, Nihilanth. Take it easy. Oh my god. Nihalan. I will defeat you. <laughs>